Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we're back. Where was I? I think I was going to copy and paste this, right? Something like that. Yeah, okay. shadow meets uh, copy and paste that again uh, just make sure I don't have any gaps And then uh, nothing is moving on the next shot, so I can just copy and paste this straight up. Okay, and there that is. So what I'll do, I'll just go back, zoom out, and look at it real quick. That's right, Reggie. No meaningless battles. Number one rule of being a ninja. Besides, do you think she could even stand a chance? Alright. At this point, I would save after doing all that work. And then uh, we can go back, get our... Uh, Get our color key and then just go through and do the exact same thing you do with the flats you know do one color at a time and uh, for this part like I said I either do this or this I'm gonna start with that and if it doesn't work I'll go to the next one like if that happens then you want to go over close small gaps so maybe I'll just keep it on there for right now. Oh, next layer. And you know, if it's kind of off, don't worry about it too much. You know, you could sort of get away with it not being 100% accurate as far as where the lines are. I say I missed that right there. I'm going to leave that. Just, well... doing that because I have a gap so I'm just gonna stretch that Like I said, I have music playing usually. This is doing this in silence. It's like, uh, all right. Next color.
think I, I see where I missed the spot. So hold on. There we go. Pretty straightforward though, you know. We're almost there. Okay, one thing, um, you notice how when I select the uh, layer, it, it selects the entire thing. Make sure you deselect that before you try to fill it, because if you fill it while it's selected like that, this will happen. So, uh, to deselect it, I just switch to the arrow key, click away from it, and then switch back to the paint bucket. Like, I've been doing that this whole time, so I didn't even think about it. And you can see where I, I was rushing right here, so that's kind of going in right there. Like that angle is in the wrong spot. But, uh, for, you know, for all intents and purposes, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, now this part is my favorite part. Because then it's uh, this is where it looks like a finished cartoon. I'll delete this guy. That's on a layer. Delete that guy. So now you zoom out. Go through here. Select your frame. Go to stroke color and hit the slash to delete all your uh, stroke lines. And you just go through and do that. One thing, uh, instead of doing this to select the entire thing, you could just select the keyframe and that'll highlight it. Just hit that. 